Hi, it's Doodle here and welcome to another cleaning video. Um, it's got a mi bit of a mixture of both today. I'm um, going to be doing some cleaning, tidying up and also further on in the video, out and about in Blender, the micro camper. So a little bit of that as well um, and the frustration of the kettle, but more of that um, later on in the video. But as you can see, we'll start with the cleaning. I'm falling behind, falling behind I hate to separate my body and mind My body and mind Ooh, ooh I feel like Ooh, ooh, I feel like Demons in my mind Demons, demons in my mind Ooh, ooh, it tastes like Ooh, ooh, it tastes like Demons in my mind Demons pushing all my triggers kitchen floor um it seems to get dirty quite quickly i think it's because of the dogs um or stuff gets spilt all over it uh, you can't really see from just looking at it but it is quite dirty uh there's splodges on the floor there's bits of crumbs there's um all sorts of things on the floor but i just don't know how it gets so dirty but it does so i do feel you know feel for people with young children or you know lots of animals or things like that that it just it's hard to keep up on stuff um even when you've got less traffic going through and less things going on the floor it still looks a mess and this is every day and i'm hoovering constantly in this place and it's still um i find that it's it still gets messy and untidy and dirty but i'll show you a close-up of the floor of all the splodges and you can you can see just um where the dirt actually is
Um, sometimes I like to get um, some fresh flowers for the flat because I like to bring a bit of the spring inside um, and one of my favourites is tulips um, these are from Aldi I think they were £2.49 which is quite n not a bad price really um, I just like because I used to work in a florist shop when I was younger I quite like flower arranging oh, obviously this isn't flower arranging I've just shoved them in the vase but um, I, I like to sort of have fresh flowers sometimes I mean it's not the sort of thing I'd usually spend money on but occasionally it's nice to brighten up a room and I put them in the kitchen on the windowsill and it really brightens the place up
option to be someone else I would And like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious, fuck it, I'm made this way But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe it will pass by, someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done in my drink at this pace Doodle here and I'm currently sitting in Belinda um, up in the woods um, with a great view um, really great view that the kettle's about to blow up on the stove because so far it's taken 20 minutes to heat the water um, for a cup of coffee I think the butane's cold so I'm sort of sitting here waiting for that um, goodness knows if I get any lunch because it's got gas in the bottle but because it's cold it's just taking a long long time to actually heat up the water for anything so I'm just patiently waiting for that so hopefully I could just hear it popping and spluttering and um, getting a bit of a headache actually but it's well ventilated in here so the carbon monoxide is you know it's not going to build up so it's all okay if it doesn't blow up <laughs> Who knows? So yeah, just waiting for that and looking forward to my coffee. Well, it kind of explains why it wasn't boiling because I've actually actually run out of gas. Um, so that... Run out of gas, I'm sitting here for 10 minutes and the kettle's run out of gas and I'm not even aware. I mean, I wonder I haven't got any hot water. <laughs> so yeah, so I've changed the butane um, gas cylinder and I'm just waiting for it to heat up now so hopefully fingers crossed the next 20 minutes I'll have a nice hot cup of coffee burning everything we know prison up as firefighters you got me dancing in your storm looking like a breeze but really you're a forest fire oh, 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 oh. looking like a breeze but really you're a forest fire oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Sake. <laughs> I'm literally gonna lose the world to live soon. The wind has picked up now and um yeah.
Anyone would think that I'd put 20 gallons of water in that kettle. I only want a cup of coffee. So any jobs that I need to do on Belinda now, I've got the um, things on the windows, which are the uh, wind deflectors. I've got those on. So now I've got to do some insulating. I've got to insulate the sides. As you can see, uh, it's, it's just metal and, and plastic. So I want to put some insulation in there for next winter. Because um, it does get cold, even in the summer it gets cold sometimes at night. So I want to put some insulation bubble type stuff in there, pack it in um, and insulate the sides and everything so she's nice and warm. has boiled and I've got my coffee and I'm going to sit back enjoy the view and I'm going to watch um, a few um, stealth camping videos because I really like those when I'm out on the camper um, one of my favorites is Will's whereabouts so and it's got nothing to do with the fact he's young looking nothing to do with that no it's not he's got joking aside he's got great content and I quite enjoy his channel um, and many others, stealth camping, things like that, I really enjoy. So, yeah, see you in a bit. It's blowing a bit of um, a gale around here. Um, the wind, typically, every time I try and come out and use the gas, um, the butane, it's windy. And as you can hear, and it's a bit cold as well. So what the gas does is it doesn't heat up the kettle for about 40 minutes. So could be waiting a long time for the coffee to brew, but the view is stunning. Now, Belingo's head height. What I had to do was I had to remove what I did. I was I removed the whole top. It had um. This is the Belingo multi space, and it it's usually got a module that clips on here and here, which this was the storage module that which was held on by these things here um, but the thing is when the module was in place I couldn't see out the window out of the back because the module was stopping me seeing out the back so I had to remove that to get the head height and I also had to remove the central module storage to get the head height and the trouble is that removing that I removed the sun visors because they were all um, integrated into the module so now I've got no sun visors or an interior light at the front. So that's something I've got to, to find and buy for it now, the Belinda. Um, but, I mean, I'm five foot four and I can sit in this just in this area. And in the back, I've got plenty of headroom because the ceiling is high there. But as I say, I had to modify it a little bit. But if you're over... Um, say five foot eight I think you probably have a bit of a problem sitting in here or laying on the bed because um, the bed's only five foot eight oh, can you hear that probably be probably Christmas by the time I get the coffee but never mind hopefully it's heating up I'm not going to touch it because it, it, oh, no I better not touch it it's not a good idea but it's a sunny day and it's probably about 15 degrees at the moment and the only thing is these flying ants they're staying away but I thought if I put the gas on they'd go away but no they're hovering oh, so annoying as long as they don't come in I don't mind they can stay out there as long as they don't come in Belinda's windows are tinted using a film um, so in theory I can see out but people can't see in but I got the smoky tint and not the really dark tint so 
I'm thinking that people can probably see in uh, to some extent but as you can see I can I've got a really good view out and it is quite dark the tint so hopefully they're not watching me like a complete idiot myself <laughs> by waiting for the kettle to boil for 40 minutes Thank you.